welcome my fellow homo sapien friends and today we are doing a quick Destiny 2 video. Now I've not done a Destiny 2 video in absolutely months. This is not because I've like I hate the game, it's just because I've been playing other games giving Destiny 2 a bit of a rest while they fix problems and sort stuff out. So I'm sure we're all aware by now that Destiny 2 is a very lacklustre kind of game and it's a very dead game at the moment but this is due to lack of end game and promises that weren't met. I do have high hopes for this new DLC coming out because they know of all the problems that are going on with the game and obviously they've had the summit which involved a lot of YouTubers, streamers and just general people from the community that they've asked to go around and ask for ideas, ask for help, show them ideas and, and sort of just try and get the game back to where it needs to be basically. I mean, we had similar problems with Destiny 1. I think the, the thing that most people are more angry about is the fact that they haven't learned from Destiny 1. They've made the same mistakes. that They've brought out a half game to begin with and put, gave us two mediocre DLCs to carry us over till the big DLC that eventually came over a year and a half later. Now, it does seem that way again. However... With the current state of the game, I'm pretty sure that they're going to be fixing problems that need fixing uh, to get their their fans back into the game. Because honestly, myself, I don't hate the game. I love Destiny. I love Destiny 1. I put so many hours into it, like oh, way over like 3,000 hours into the game in total, which is obviously not a lot by some people's standards, but for me, that's quite a lot. Now, I want to do that again in Destiny 2. Currently, I can't do that because... There's, there's nothing making me want to come in every week, every day, to grind for that certain thing that I, I just can't get. I, I understand that um, the Nightfalls are a lot better now, um, without the timing, and obviously you can get specific weapons for doing the Nightfall in certain times and stuff like that, which is absolutely fantastic. We need more of that in-game. We need that more end-game sort of like go-through, because at the moment it's just fucking dead. So, obviously, I was looking through the trailer, the little teaser trailer for the new DLC, The Warmind, which obviously drops on May the 8th, which isn't very long now, actually. So, I am quite looking forward to getting back into the game and seeing what else is new in the game. Now, it kind of looked like there was a horde mode. Now, it didn't actually look like a horde mode that you would expect. This kind of felt a bit more like... I don't know, it looked a bit more like COD Zombies kind of feel to it. I don't know if that's just me, that, that's just kind of what I've got from it. Like, obviously there's a picture here that has the um, escalation protocol and you have to eliminate the hive within a certain time limit. Now that's quite good. Like, whether you can have a team of three or, f or four or five or six, it, it remains to be seen. I would assume it would be a, te a fire team of three. Most of them are. Obviously, I might be reading too much into this. This might actually just be a public event. This could be a new public event that they've uh, put into the game. So, I'd, you know, leave your speculations in the comments down below what you think this picture might actually represent here. Now, there is some sort of horde mode going on, but I can't figure out what it is yet and what this, like, orange stuff is. It looks very cool, and the, the hunter's holding this sort of, like flame staff but it's not a flame staff if you know what I mean it just kind of looks like it's on fire but it shouldn't be and obviously it just slams it down and just obliterates everything next to him so whether this is going to be some sort of like you have to collect this thing and then slam it down and it just wipes out everyone I don't know this again this is all speculation which you'll find out later on today I think it goes live about six seven o'clock tonight so be aware of that on the uh, Twitch live stream. I know I'll be watching it to jot down notes and get another video out probably tomorrow maybe. I know it, it's going to be a, a bit of a hectic week for me this week because obviously we've got the Destiny 2 today, the Destiny, um, obviously another Destiny video tomorrow for me, then possibly there'll be a Tomb Raider video at the, uh, the end of the week as well because they're revealing more about that. So obviously make sure that you're subscribed and hit that bell so you don't miss these videos because I will be doing them as soon as I can. Now obviously there's obviously going to be new armor, new weapons, new areas to explore, new dangers to inhabit and obviously new kind of hive like they're all frozen 
Like, I, I don't quite get the story behind this. Someone's probably done a video, a lore video somewhere of why the hive is actually frozen. Or, well, not frozen, but like, got like a frost, frosty sort of like a aura around the body, something like that. So, I, obviously, I don't know much about the, the lore in Destiny 2, to be honest, I'm not going to lie. I just play it for the fun and the killing and the grinding, which obviously I'm not doing at the moment. So, obviously, there isn't a lot to go on with this video. This is obviously just a teaser trailer. Obviously, we had a bit of a, a lackluster with the tr Curse of Osiris, so I'm, I'm remaining a bit mm, on the fence about this DLC until I find out more and obviously experience, experience it for myself. Obviously, with the Osiris one, you could probably complete that within about three or four hours. It was just dead short, and it was just so underwhelming. The only good part about it was forging the weapons. That was a really good idea, and they changed it every week so that you had to collect all, I think it was 11 of them in total. Um, you collected them all week, every weapon each week, sorry. And, and that was quite fun, like grinding for the materials and stuff like that. It kept me going into the game and trying to get all this stuff and that. So yeah, absolutely, we could do with more stuff like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to end the video here because obviously it was a short video. I just wanted to explain my thoughts and uh, on the situation and stuff like that, speculate what I think is going to go on. Obviously, I'm excited to see what happens over the course of the next few months with Bungie, especially now they've had the summit. So this is definitely something to look out for. A lot of it, YouTubers have been extremely excited by what they've heard, what they've seen from the summit. So it does hold high hopes for me, especially playing a uh, Destiny 2, well, a, De a Destiny gamer, really. Thank you very much for watching this video. I do apologise that I haven't done any videos like this for a while. I've been spending a lot of time last week streaming. Um, this is due to you know just just me enjoying streaming basically so I'm trying to balance it all out at the moment but once I've sorted all out I'll be fine thank you very much for watching this video if you did like it please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more from me and don't forget to hit the bell that way you get notified when I post a new video up bye bye for now please take care of yourself and others and see you soon